Hi. Hi, baby. About three and a half months ago, I had a complete hysterectomy because over the last couple of years of my life, I've had a lot of personal issues. The last time we saw Molly, she was agonizing over how her hysterectomy would impact her relationship with boyfriend Kelly. She was worried that Kelly's desire for his own biological children might make him want to leave her. It's disheartening um, that I would not be able to have children with Kelly. No, you know, I, I wanted to have children. But I wish I had that that connection to at least have a, a child with you. So how's it been since her surgery? Well, in the recent episode of 90 Day Diaries, Molly provides us with an update. Her relationship with Kelly is still going strong. In fact, in a few months, he is going to be retiring from the NYPD and moving to Georgia to live with her. Upon Kelly's retirement in three months, he is gonna leave the Big Apple and come down to Georgia for this peach. And while they have been speaking about adoption, Molly feels that once he actually lives with them, that desire that he has to have kids is quickly going to subside. I think once Kelly gets here, it's really gonna help him think that it's okay that he doesn't have kids because we currently have six females living in our house. Those six females include Molly, her mum, youngest daughter Kensley, oldest daughter Olivia, who's now put aside her differences with Molly and moved back home, as well as two new puppies. Ah, she's peeing, she's peeing. Uh-oh, oh, peeing. too late. She's peeing. Oh, she peed. Okay. Too late. Pee. She peed. It certainly seems like a full house over at Casa Molly. But what's really encouraging and heartwarming to see is the close bond that Kelly has with Kensley, who, remember, has special needs. I love the way that Kelly loves my kids. He and Kensley have such a beautiful relationship. Hey, Ken Ken. Hey, your hair got long. You took your braids out? Yeah. Look at you. Took the braids out here, flowing, nails done, looking all pretty. And so, while adoption is still a very real possibility, it definitely feels like Kelly is taking on that fatherly role in Kenzie's life. And he's also playing a very supportive role in Molly's life too. As Molly explains, since her surgery, she's had a lot on her plate and Kelly has been her rock. I'm trying to, you know, do the business, do the mom thing and, and, and get the house ready for you and just readjust and move things around. My mood can be very bitchy or very happy depending upon what's going on inside. But Kelly has been extremely supportive through all of it. Thankfully, her surgery has really helped Molly. Physically, she's now doing fine. But unfortunately, mentally, it's not been so easy. I physically began feeling better after my surgery after about two weeks. And now I'm just really on the road to um, recovery of the rest of my health, like my mind, my mental health. Which leads us nicely onto her girly day out with best friend and business partner, Cynthia. The pair are off to a studio to shoot some boudoir photos, which will act both as marketing for their shop, but also as a way of getting Molly's confidence back. Having just came out of a surgery where the most powerful part of my body just left the building, it's been really hard for me to feel sexy again. And it was terrible for intimacy. So I wanna get my mojo back. I wanna feel like I'm an empowered woman. Molly is remarkably honest and vulnerable about sharing her confidence issues. In particular, she reveals how sometimes she looks in the mirror and doesn't like what stares back at her. When the clothes come off, the self-loathing and the self-looking at yourself and, and thinking, oh God, I, I wish I was a little bit smaller. I wish it was taller. I wish it was this. And she goes on to explain how she sees it as her duty as the owner of a lingerie shop to overcome those doubts and in doing so, help with her own mental health and also help to empower other women. But every single day of my life, I'm having to challenge women to see themselves differently. And what greater way to do it than if I myself am a subject in the camera in the mirror. And by facing up to and overcoming her obstacles, she ends up not only with some great photos, but also with a renewed dose of self-confidence. By the time I got in there and got my hair and makeup done and got these clothes, I mean, I really felt like I was a badass. I can't explain 
explain it. It's really indescribable how it felt. That renewed sense of self-confidence following her surgery seems to be exactly what she needed. If you missed my first video all about that surgery, including the reasons for it and of course the turmoil and anxiety that she faced fearing that Kelly might leave her, then I'll leave a link on screen for you to check out now. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the next video.